So I've lived through enough power outages that I went out and I purchased a generator. And in researching generators, I found this whole category called inverter generators that advertises on clean power. Um, and it's what is recommended or what they recommend to plug in your more sensitive electronics. And so it made me wonder, what is the difference between plugging into one of these inverter generators versus plugging into the wall or plugging into you know, the standard modified sine wave inverter that I would use to run a tailgate margarita? Uh, so, in this video, I'm going to take high-speed waveform captures from each of those three sources. I'm going to plug into an outlet here in my kitchen. We're going to go outside, safely operate a generator, and plug into the generator, the modify or the, the inverter generator. Uh, and then we'll, you know, hit the car, plug into the standard modified sine wave, and, and see what the difference is. All right, let's get started. So, plug this in. I've already got my LabVIEW program up and running or it's up, let me, let me turn it on real quick. So you run, there we go, everything's floating. I'm gonna plug this in just right here into the kitchen, and there we go. So there's the AC sine wave that's coming out of the wall, pretty standard, uh, measuring at about 60 hertz, which is what I expect, measuring a little over 120 RMS, so 123, and then total harmonic distortion, 2%. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple measurement. That's, that's what I would expect, that's pretty good. Uh, so now on to the next, on to the next source. So now we're in the garage and I'm going to plug the standard modified sine wave inverter into my car. So I plug the DC adapter in uh, and then I can plug in the connection from my instrumentation into the inverter, make sure the inverter's on. And then I've got the USB cable running to my laptop where I can see the same output that I used for when we plugged into the wall in my kitchen. So I've got the same LabVIEW program. I'm going to run it. And you can see that the inverter is significantly choppier than what we saw in, in, in the wall. And that's what should be expected. This is a low cost inverter and it's a modified sine wave. It doesn't even look like a sine wave. It's more like a square wave. All right, so we've got the, the house, the car, and now onto the portable generator. So we're in the kitchen, did a measurement there. Then we moved to the car, took a measure of the traditional modified sine wave, which is as we know, just a square wave. Uh, and now let's do the new hotness, right? The portable generator that's advertised as an inverter generator. Now I've already set up the generator safely away from the house and the garage and any open. Um, I'm running it off of propane and I cheated a little bit. I'm right, I ran an extension cord all the way into the garage here so I could, could run my setup. So now all we gotta do is run that same program that I've run the last two times. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And now we just plug this in. And look at that, that's a very clean sine wave. So this definitely lives up to the billing. Uh, we'll point out that there's no, there's no load on this generator, but if I'm looking for something where I'm gonna have confidence that that's gonna reproduce what I've got in my house, uh, the inverter generator that I've got here looks to do a great job of that. So that's not to say that it's gonna replace everything Different generators have different purposes based on my research, uh, but we've seen the home, we've seen the modified sign inverter, and now we've seen an, an inverter generator, uh, so we, we can make an informed decision. All right, thanks for checking out the video. If you're interested in the measurements or the measurement equipment, a little more behind the scenes, there's a follow-on video. I'm going to drop a link to that in the description. Thanks again for watching.